So figuring out this uh, this display shouldn't be too complicated. I use the multimeter at uh, continuity so that I can check uh, which wire is plugged into which uh, LED. So this is my display. It's got 12 pins and since there's four numbers obviously there's some uh, some stuff going on that we gotta figure out because I couldn't find the data sheet for this one. So I have my uh, probes. This one has a little hook. Really useful. So I'll just go one by one. Get the hook on the first one and then I just brush them until the meter reacts. So first pin didn't do and then this one. Got some voltage going on so let's see. So I think I found something here. Well, one thing to do is to have your um, some paper ready. Get your notes. So the segment, uh, the way they name it is uh, this is A, B, C. D, E, F, G. So when pin one is low, also you have to make your uh, graph here. So this is display one, two, three, four. Segment A, B, C, D, G. Kind of like a little graph. So when pin one, when pin one was low, when pin one is low, and pin. 10 is high, this segment appears. So this is segment 2E. So 2E. I'll order them with high, low. So when this is E2. So the high is 10 and the low is 1. So for 2E it's 10, 1. 10 high, 1 low. And I found another one here. It's 11, 1 is segment 3E. So 11, 1. So I got 2. So here's another one reacting. This is 7. Display 1. E. So one E is seven one. So already you should see something in common is that each segment E seems to have a common uh, low. So there's some pattern going on. So now pin six. So six one. So I know that pin 1, actually I don't know what we know yet. 
So let's try pin 2. So pin 2 seems to control segment B. So that's 6, 6, 2. Segment D. Still. Two is two is low and six is high. Got another one, this is pin ten. Oh wait, this is pin seven, not six. Made a mistake. So pin 10. Now as we're writing this, now we can see a little bit of a pattern is that each position seems to so far have a common high. 10, 10. So I can, well I've already worked it out but I could probably assume at this point, but don't assume, just do it. So let's stop assuming. Let's do it. I wasn't done with. So pin eleven two is three. And guess which one will light up this one? Pin six. Sure enough. Pin six doesn't. Now let's go with pin three. Oh, I'm getting the dot here. Oh yeah, I didn't put the. It's gonna be. So the dot has a common ground, seems to be the uh, third one. So over three. So just work it out like that, fill your graph, and then uh, make it into a nice uh, little Excel sheet or something. Make it look nice, so you can easily read it. So this is going to be the pin combination of high and low to uh, light up the corresponding segment of this uh, little display. So once you've worked out uh, all of the pins, Put it in your Excel sheet and then uh, start working with that. So once you're done uh, filling your sheet and transferring it to Excel, you should have a graph that looks uh, looks something like this. So I have uh, my segments here and the position here. The interesting thing to notice at this point is that they all seem to have the same high controlling uh, each position. So this is what they call the common anode display because they all have the same anode. So each combination of uh, these pins, so if the 10th pin is high and the 4th pin is low, at position 2, segment C is going to be lit up. Pretty simple. This is the, um, the port that I was using on uh, on my chip. So I'm using port D and I'm using all eight pins to control uh, the eight segments. And uh, the anode, because this is going to control the uh, low value, and the anode is going to be on another, uh, another port. But it doesn't matter right now because you already know it's 7, 10, 11, and 6. 
So this is your first step before being able to uh, program this uh, thing, figuring out uh, which segment to combine to produce uh, which number.